Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Zed. Today we are talking about OCGN once more from my last video, giving you a quick update towards the latest news, developments, and what we think about this one, institutional buyers, and then technical analysis. So, let's jump right into this one. So, OCGN, covered this one previously, you'll find my previous video in the description below. Nonetheless, some of the latest news here, including the $100 million offering that they are putting out, so I'm going to refer to that first, and then I'm going to go towards uh, the other news that we're looking for. So, in previous news, just this one is on Friday at 3 p.m., OCGN announced $100 million in registered direct offering off the stock, and it's priced at a premium to the market. Now, the price is here around 10 bucks per share, so that's a little bit more expensive than it was on the day before in terms of closing, but not significantly lower than what it was trading during the day. So during the day, it did trade around 1363 and they did price it around 10 bucks. The price closed around 962 and after hours, it did jump up to around 11 bucks. Nonetheless, this offering here is opposing to close around 27th of April, and this will raise $100 million towards OCGN. And we can refer to that in terms of how much capital they do have in a second. But nonetheless, let's jump a little bit right into the latest updates that we've received. We've seen this one on the 21st, and I'm going to read three main key points here which is primary efficacy in the second interim analysis demonstrates Covaxin to be 78% effective after the second dose in preventing COVID-19 without prior infections. And just a quick note here, if you don't, if you, this is the first time you're hearing about OCGN, OCGN has an extensive pipeline, but it's also bringing a Covaxin, which is a COVID vaccine based on an inactivated virus into the US from Baharat Biotech. And this demonstrates 70% efficacy asymptomatic uh, COVID-19 infections indicates potential to significantly reduce virus transmissions. And the Covaxin has been administered to several million people in India and is playing a critical role in combating the pandemic. Now, the next thing here is the kind of equity rewards that they're receiving for the company itself. And so here it is. And so they granted options purchased common stock uh, per value of around 0.01 per share of the company to certain officers of the company, including certain named executive officers. 20% of the 2021 performance options will vest based on the achievement of each five performance milestones related to the company's development of Covaxin. So it's vaccine candidate for preventing COVID-19 in collaboration with Bahara Biotech, the respective milestones, including 10% of 2021 performance options, will vest upon the committee determination that the applicable milestone has been achieved, and the remaining 10% will vest upon the first anniversary of the applicable milestone achievement date subject to applicable offers or officers continued service and basically what this is just saying is that there is kind of some certain milestones that they're looking for for the vaccine to reward the ceo and the cfo with number of options and moving on from there we're looking into a couple of things so first off is how much capital they have market cap you're looking at 1.2 and then in terms of capital, that is quite important for us. Uh, we can go to the balance sheet here and take a look into the last December one. And you're looking into total assets that are sitting somewhere around 27 million compared to total debt of 2 million. Now, granted that $100 million is not standing alone from an offering, it also had raised $23 million previously. So that alone puts it somewhere around $150 million in cash compared to a total debt of only around $2 million. And before moving on, if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to drop down, scroll down, click that like button. And if you'd like to join our Discord, click show more and join us on our Discord here. Totally free. There's no commitments and we can ask me any questions about there. Now, anyway, moving on, what we get to see in terms of institutional buyers, it seems that institutions are been mixed. On the 23rd, you had some companies where they liquidated the majority of their positions, such as Joseph Luca Associates, they decreased around 61% of their position. Meanwhile, Cedar Mountains decreased 90%, although some indexes has added the stock into their index itself hundreds of thousands of shares on the 22nd you see in the 21st you see uh, thousands of shares being added as well in this case 
and we can move on forward just a tad here. Now, a quick thing here that I did pull up is that Covax in here is selling uh, or the vaccine itself is selling in, the, in India itself to certain states to be around $15 to $20 per dose. And now OCGN is also announcing that uh, they are looking to sell around 100 million doses to the US. So it's in this year, in 2021. And so in short, we're looking to 15 to $21 going on with 100 million doses. That's a hefty price point that we're not sure exactly how much of that percentage is going to go to OCGN. For all you know, it's $1 per dose, um, giving you around $100 million, or it could be $2 per dose, $200 million, and that's not clear yet. But we can move on towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis point of view, what we get to see here is that on the indicators on a one day, it really blew up. Uh, it's above the 50 SMA, it's above 10 SMA and 30 MA, and above the 200 SMA. So in all indicators on the moving averages, it is definitely bullish. Now, what we get to see here is that 50 SMA line is at 832. So that is tending to give you strong support. On the 80X point of view, it's showing that there is a very strong possibility of a trend forming. And Willy Person R is sitting somewhere in the middle. It's never, neither oversold or overbought. Now, the MACD is looking to be very strong on the histogram, indicating that this is an actual start of a trend. And what we get to see here on momentum is that it has positive momentum. That, all in all, is very bullish. Now, on the moving average bands, what you get to see here is that the top is at 750, middle 682, and 614 is at the bottom. Now, the Bollinger Bands is at 878 on the top, and it broke through that, which indicates a short-lived, perhaps a breakout that is happening right now. Volumes have been increasing every day, and this is your indication. Once volumes decrease, that is your warning sign. But it looks like a lot of people are buying than selling, and that's a good indication. Now, stochastic fast and stochastic slow are both showing there is a possibility of another leg up, although it's meeting a little bit of resistance, and that is very much obvious with the offering that they put 18, sorry, I mean $100 million at almost 10 bucks per share. That is quite a lot of shares being added into the market, and sometimes investors aren't always liking that someone else is getting it at a discount, especially at 11 bucks after hours. And what you're looking into here is that the significant support levels that we're seeing on the Fibonacci retracements currently are 951, 732, 462 significant resistances, 1170, 1481, and 1878. Now, if you were to take a look into just normal price line actions, what you're seeing here is that there is this very strong support at the 976. Below there, you're looking into 920. Below there, you're looking into 866, 790, and then down to 705, followed by 620, and then 524, 358, and then 270. Significant resistances are as follows. You're looking up to 993 and then on to 1095, 1157, 1258, and then on to 1374. Comes to the question to add, what do you think is going to happen here? Now, there's a lot of indicators that show that this one is going to push fully to higher and to higher prices, especially as well into the extended hours. The extended hours, it really has been pushing upwards. That's two green candles on a two hour perspective. And it's definitely showing a bit of a reversal towards that massive red candle towards the $100 million offering. Now for me, I don't know exactly how much the proceeds that they're gonna get out of that 100 million doses. Now they do have enough cash based on the $100 million direct offering on the next week, they will have enough cash to do whatever really they want. Remember, their current cash is less than $20 million. Uh, well, other than the $23 million raised earlier on in the year in the quarter one. But a strong indication would be that they do need to tell us how much they're expecting to get out of net profit out of this operation. That would be very fundamental to understand the basis of the next earnings or the next earnings that has the COVIDs or sorry, my bad, the COVAXins sales, the COVID vaccine sales. And that is a strong indication. Otherwise, it's just speculations. The retail is rewarding this one about a COVID vaccine that still, for all you know, it might extend all the way to 2023 towards getting that um, a validation. Now, 
quick thing astrazeneca has had its results a while ago it's not accepted in the u.s yet now granted that is for some relating towards a very rare type of blood clotting but the process isn't as fast but you do anticipate that it should be sometime in the next few months based on uh, the severity of the covid uh, variants etc and how covaxin is also tackling that as well what do you think about the sticker make sure you mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like and have a wonderful day now if you made it this far into the video i do recommend that you go ahead and join our discord server there's a lot of amazing folks in here uh we do a lot of discussions here into the trading floor throughout the day a lot of people are in there and we do ask questions you can ask me uh, any question you would like on there we do post research and dds and we hold weekly uh chat sessions and we also do have a lounge in there so make sure to actually join that and join the fun there have a wonderful day and a good one